My name is Taylor Peary. I'm the founder of Original Nourishment, an integrative nutritionist, yoga instructor, and meditative life guide. Today we're going to take a look at tiger nut milk. Tiger nuts are part of the plant family known as Cypheraceae. This family also includes water chestnuts. Traditionally, tiger nut milk has been called horchata de chupa in Spain and kunu aya in Nigeria. This is one of the only brands that you can really get it from. There are a couple other brands out there, but it's really not well known, although it is up and coming. Is that weird? <laughs> Tiger nuts are not actually a nut, contrary to their name. Tiger nuts. <laughs> Tiger nuts are autoimmune, paleo friendly. They're also credited to being the most consumed food for our Paleolithic ancestors because of their nutrient density. Tiger nuts are a great source of iron, potassium, magnesium, zinc, vitamin E, and vitamin C. Their fat profile has also been compared to olive oil for their heart health. Most importantly, tiger nuts are one of the highest forms of resistant starch. This resistant starch feeds our good bacteria to balance our gut flora. When we get tiger nuts in the bag, they're dry and they're extremely fibrous. I would not suggest eating them in this form. I would suggest soaking them first and then eating them or soaking them and making tiger nut milk. So let's get started with the tiger nut milk. So the first step is going to be to soak your tiger nuts overnight. These tiger nuts have been soaking for 24 hours. I poured the tiger nuts in here, covered them with water, put a top on, and left them. So now they're nice and moist and ready to blend. We're gonna take the tiger nuts, bring them over to the sink, and strain them, and rinse them off. We're gonna go over to our big burkey. So we're going to get two cups of water here. We're going to add one cup of tiger nuts and blend. You're going to want to blend for probably at least 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that all of the fiber is broken up and you get the sweetness out of it. Now, most things that you're going to read online are going to say that you need a high-powered blender. This is just a basic blender and it works fine. Our next step, once it's blended, is going to be to take our nut milk bag and drape it in some kind of container that's going to catch it and pour it in. All right, so I normally close the top of the bag. It just helps to make sure the pulp doesn't fall out the top. Then we're just going to squeeze it as if you were milking a cow. Towards the end, you're gonna to need to squeeze it pretty hard to get the remaining tiger nut milk out. And you'll see that there's a lot of pulp left over. You can actually save this and put it in a granola mix to add a bit of extra fiber and a bit of extra sweetness. So you can either dry this out in a dehydrator or just throw it in your freezer. Let's set that aside. And we will add it to some tiger nut milk that we made earlier today. Pour it in. And there you go, that's how you make tiger nut milk. <sighs> Delicious. Mm. To get you started making your own tiger nut milk, I'll be raffling off a free bag. Subscribe and like this video for a chance to win. For more information on nutrition, yoga, and meditation, visit us at OriginalNourishment.com.